not sure if they're quite in range to get their plus 10 now. Uh, range 6. So, yeah. They're just buying it at 30s. Can I lock on? Can I bugger it? And they can't hit. Hazareth is going to attempt to repower its um, nice engines. For nice drive. Yeah, its engines. Nope. So, how, so with their life sustainers off, how long do they have until this stuff, bad stuff starts happening? Well, life sustainers can keep you up for a while, even if they're not yeah. working. Yeah, because you know, like these ship, these are big ships. There's a lot of air in an empty. I mean, if they have to go a few weeks, it might start getting dodgy, but one combat isn't going to... Alright. So that gets in the plus 10. Can they lock on? <laughs> they locked onto the Hazroth by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I, I'm giving them every opportunity I can. And it's still not working. Why do we I... fight the Keystone Pirates? <laughs> Top at least, Ben, we're here. Top at least, Ben. At least they can't hit anything, so we, the the um, Hazroth doesn't have to worry about getting friendly fired. It's like Krillin with the Destructo Disc. Oh, poor like Krillin. Frieza with the Destructo Disc. How do these controls work? Okay, the Havoc. Command, I've asked you roll fellowship, will you work? No. Gunners, fire. Two ah, groups, let's peel your void shields off. Too much rum in this, in this in, around these pirates. Too, too much rum. Okay, lock on. There we go. That's 50 for the first shot. Uh, plus 20, oh. sorry. <laughs> I might just have all these pirates jump out as just like. Yep, yeah, strip your void shields. They could come in and they could start ramming actions. <laughs> No, they can't. They, they haven't got. They're too small. But they only do a D5 damage in ramming that action. I think. If Yigmir was here, I would have. I would have advised him by now to say like, to go online and go like, you can't. You you see now that you can't hurt us. I offer you now. I'll either join well, us see, or the die. the issue is, uh, the flagship yeah. doesn't have comms right now because their engines are off. This is be a, like a broadcast between everybody. You know what? We could fire a torpedo that has a box inside it into the bridge. We don't right? have torpedo. We don't have torpedo launches. We can fire an org that has a box attached to him. We can send a fighter ship to board them and demand their surrender. I, I'm, I'm all for, I'm all for if, if Grail let me route, use my <laughs> strength as command test and just say I'm taking a party of Hawks over to the ship. I'm all, I'm all for 45 going. turn. Oh, one. Oh, one. Two, three, forty-five down. Oops. That's the wrong way. There you go. It's fine. Um, well, the Hazroth's still offline, so there's not much point shooting that. Could other than you know, cred. Spite. I mean, spite. Spite is an important purpose. You can always spite hit it with a lance. Spite is the most we... important purpose. Spite is, in fact, the thing that powers us. Oh wait, their void shields are back up, even though their drives are offline. Damn it. Are they? I, I'd assume so. I'm no, pretty void... sure if they don't have power, they can't power the void shield. Plus their void shields oh. got hit. Oh, right. So, the void shields um, are doubly yeah. down. <laughs> okay, let's 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 shoot since Scray hasn't said yes, go do it, so we get more boarding actions because that's what we need. Let's shoot the havoc with the disruptor batteries and then lance the flagship again. Hmm. And what are the chances we've got plan. Just keep firing at it. <laughs> until it's slag. Well, I'd, I'd say we 
I'd say we 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 attempt to command tech, but no one we have no one co with command around. Can we just can we just stick a hand up uh, give me his characters back and like use them as a puppet? I can I can no. intimidate, but I can intimidate as well. Oh yeah. no, I didn't take. Incredibly, I'm not very good at intimidate. Like all the skills I could be doing Remy, it with, I don't know. The one no the at. one skill I couldn't. The one skill I could have picked up, which was command, I didn't. <laughs> Remy, if, as, there, as our, um, as the standing as right. captain on deck. <laughs> what would you like you me to, to do? Intimidate the enemy fleet and surrender. Sure, let's do it. Remember, plus ten because skulls. Uh, oh, okay. So you so have, so you have a so wait, I'm going to of... send a Vox mess, um, message with video, where it's going to be my face surrounded by serum skulls. All of them. So like every skull that we can. I was about to say, so it's like a skull parrot. Just yeah. sits on your shoulder and just like, <coughs> displays its sharp teeth. So here's a funny sharp thing. Sharp teeth, but it's very... I'm only rolling versus a 30. Really? You finally got a 30 intimidate? Fuck that. I can do that. I, can... I roll against a 50 if I have a skull. However, I roll against the fifty am... just naturally because yeah. I was orky. I was right proper. Then how about you three get in here and we all assist, uh, you know, Gorgsa, please. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Of four thug positions, everyone. Oh, I, I've got a fifty-five thing. Uh, right, you all say surrender or you die all at the same time. We've just in different We've all been fighting. We've all been fighting. You, you gits ain't done nothing. So how, how's about you give us all your stuff and we bet go on your way. Is he not worth killing? Right. Yeah. Not even worth killing. Shameful. Whoops, that's the right button. We're doing this from the gunnery station just oh. in case. I wanted a, um, oh, there's what, a plus 10? Plus 20. Oh, plus 20. So, yeah, plus, you must succeed. Plus four, that's four degrees of success. It, so, if whoever's taken over since the flagship is having a nap. I'm actually going to have to say they're going to give in, because at this point, I can't roll you are, well enough to do. You are mathematically incapable of succeeding. Like it's yeah, it's not incapable, but it is incredibly unlikely. You would have yeah, there's yeah. a the, very specific like series of successful rolls you need to do. Because first they would need pass. to succeed on a command check, then they would need to succeed on a exceedingly well at a uh, damage check, and then they would need to roll two extremely high damage numbers to be able to harm us. Yeah, possible suggestion, Gray. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think you've done this before, but it's one of those, I think the crew is generally meant for those times when you can't get somebody who's actually competent at the job to do it. Yeah, I think next time... I'd yeah. just They'll have probably, competent crews. Yeah, I'll be still to like 50%. Uh, is it co well, competent crews or like make individual characters that are like, you know, gunner or something like that, that's better at certain tasks. Also forgot, also things we forgot, the squadron rules that allow them to fire more than Get multiple hits per degree of success. Because I have heard nothing of these. Yes, yeah. uh, I that think that's probably in Battlefleet, Battlefleet Coronas, uh, where you can squ squad yeah. up like various various larger ships together. Uh, you can also yeah squadron up your very smaller ships. Yeah, well, um, well that might have given them opportunity. When I said larger ships, I mean like not fighters. Yeah, Captain yeah. Ships. Yeah, I mean, these these are still capital ships, even though they're like tiny raiders and privateers. But hey, yeah. we got a fleet. Woo! I'm gonna actually just see. I'll give a twenty five percent chance they're not gonna jump out. So I'm gonna roll for each one of these ships. On a twenty five or lower, they're actually gonna stay. Otherwise, they're just gonna do an emergency warp jump and fly. Okay, yeah, so now you roll three five, uh, ones in a row. Yeah, yeah except the, has the Hazaroth can't. The Hazaroth cannot but, jump. Apart from the Hazaroth, which cannot the jump. The Hazaroth so, doesn't know they've surrendered yet. Yeah. True. I think I think next session we can we can board the Hazaroth or Well, so the Havoc thing. The the Vagabond is gone. Uh the first Tempest gone, second Tempest gone, and the second Havoc is gone. No. Two ships. Thanks. 
But yeah, two ships. I don't want to give you all that many ships and be screwed up. If you rolled like five ones <laughs> or five lower three fives, that would oh. have been beautiful though. Yeah, no, Gray, seriously, you need to work at, you need to look at the squadron shooting. Yeah. Mast fire is really something you want. Next eh, time. Hindsight. Yeah. Next time. The, 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 the way these guys are rolling command rolls are obviously a very badly, um, Rude thing. Yeah. Badly so yeah, only also, two of the ships stayed. Yeah, the others just jumped out. We yeah. also hey, have that... their, their station, their port station too as well, right? Yeah, that's a thing to investigate. For later. We haven't even gotten to that. This might no. have just been their, you know, advance party. They sallied out. It's all their ships that they sallied out. Well, you know, that means we can go and, like, loot their thing and see if they have anything shiny to loot. Yeah, unless, of course, it's, like, it may well be a cruiser equivalent station. There's a wayfinder. Well, they did blow up. They have, They did. were blowing up Xeno stuff, so they, we could always just do that wonderful, like, random loot acquisition. <laughs> Oh, well, but yeah, it's that... around two fifteen right now. Still, that went well. We we've we've got ships. That Four went point. a lot better than I was expecting, considering we lost the Lord Captain halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like... Sorry, that's that's my fault for undersuspecting it. Um, so we just yeah, do off the cuff. If I thought better, I would have given you a bit of a challenge. Oh, oh. So, so, we've, so we have so we so we disperse the pirates here. So we need yeah. to let the navy know that. So can I work on a thingy jiggy to send them off a report? Yep, you can do an astronomical report. All right, so let's burn your brain out. Let's burn my brain out. Burn my brain That's out. It. I will spend a fate point. Burn my brain out. <laughs> yeah, it's out. I fart the data out of my head. Is a nine a bad thing? No? Uh, not unless he's pushing. No, I don't think he's not, pushing. Not pushing at all. I'm like, it's normal, like... No, no fetid communication. Just, hey guys, we scanned no, pirates. It, it, nines are only a problem in uh, original Dark Heresy. Right. It's, <laughs> double, it's doubled oh, right, or pushing. Those... Those use power dice instead of just skill rolls. Which just actually makes it so that if you use more, if you are a high level psyker, you're more likely to blow up. That's I mean, fair. that makes sense. It, it makes but, a... <laughs> but I'm but I'm protected by my lo by the by uh, the golden throne and he who but... sits upon it. It's all word and everything like that. Are so bonded and all that stuff. So yes, you have a couple of disreputable pirate crews. Welcome a aboard. Of a couple of despicable pirate crews who apparently Who's, don't know how to that, shoot the gun. How's that any different from us? Also, is, will this be equivalent to Press well, Gang? Uh, they're different from us because we're actually successful. Yeah. Wait, so they're just the rating is despicable, or are they uh, like Press Gang people? Is that a stat they can have? No, it just means that they're more likely to like burn things down. Okay. It's just a, a, a role-playing thing. Alright. Okay, well, let's see now. Do you want to do a random acquisition of the station to see what they have there? That we can acquisition? Well, I was thinking... I mean, could I guess have a random... Thinking just get a grab bag of... St oh, we haven't got to the station yet, so I'm sort of, I'm sort of thinking, you know, we'll have some sort of... Malay confrontation because on the the, look, uh, well, uh, with the flagship personal confrontation. You know. Yeah, yeah since, uh, since they technically didn't surrender, they're just dead in the water, and at least until they can repower their plasma drive. Yeah, they're they dead in the water, and all their fleets jumped out. But yeah, so they're probably <laughs> also not going to do that either. Yeah, so they don't know any of this. So yeah, because they're blind. Because so we're going to have to go. We're going to we're going to uh, do the whole officer thing with the other ship that's not like currently dead in the water that actually surrendered. And then we'll, after we we'll give the Nopus a tour of the ship. We'll give the Nopus a tour of the ship. Captured. Well, that surrendered. Hmm. I wonder who's going to get put in as a who's going to get uh, elected captain or elected uh, captain of that ship. Depends what we decide to do with it, really. Yeah, it's pretty much your choice. 
put a noble in charge, see what happens. Yeah. Oh god, I know what happens, they shoot us. No, yeah, okay. Well, Easy they run off in the stage. Yeah, we can <laughs> well. well, you know. I'm sure um, one of them is twelfth in line for the throne. Twentieth. Twenty third. I mean what else do you keep what else do you keep nobles around for? No one's ever figured that out. <sighs> well figured what out? What we what keep, you keep nobles around for? for. Oh the Britain uh, had an uh, Britain had an empire for ten for ten for, for an entire um Century? Uh millennium. Past century. Right. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a millennium. The empire was only existed for about three hundred years. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, because the because you were full of French people in debt. The Normans. <laughs> the Normans were not French. <laughs> they were bloody Vikings. Norm Normandy is um, land of the Northmen. They spoke French, but you know everyone everyone of class at the time did. Yeah, that was that was the thing. That's why that's why they still speak French at the Olympics. So, the, yeah, sorry about that. Okay. So we have these ships. Two of them, ha well, see, one of them has surrendered. The other one is technically not surrendered, but also kind well, of dead in the water. Yeah, we won't be getting much of a fight. So we'll be, be we'll have thing. yeah we'll have to board them, uh, claim the ship, and then what else? What all else is in the system? Uh, well, we have to we have to deal with the captain because he hasn't surrendered. He well, that's, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah he, he, he will surrender. Other, other objects yeah. in the system is one pla uh, two temper planets, one with life, one ice one ice world. Where if you can do a scan for anything we want for any you know materials we may want to get. There's the pirate station. Worlds. Uh, there's the pirate station as well, which we can like raid just to see if they have anything shiny aboard. And Which they probably you know, do. Do that rogue trader thing we do until uh, until the plot happens. Yeah, yeah we or do we do a whole lot of trading. Or we go back to Lucian's breath, and then remember how we we traded navigators for that warp route, or for those warp routes. <laughs> Does this have navigators? Cause we may want these navigators on here. I know you want the navigators from your house, don't you? Yeah, but they will have navigators on the ship. I assume okay. it is a warp capable ship and not full of chaos heresy. I mean, considering. Uh, they're pirates. It's probably not any reputable house that the navigators are from. Yeah, but the, the thing is, though, is that it. If we should check to see if they're chaos because they are pirates, but that's also one of those. I mean, if they're chaos, that's usually very visible that they're chaos, isn't it? Yeah, it's. They sounded very chipper, and you know, yeah. properly. Right, right, they right, sounded right. very overconfident, is what they sounded. Yeah. Look, they didn't know what was going to happen. They didn't know they couldn't shoot they... properly. <laughs> Look, they're, they're, they're used to preying on freighters. So it's like, well, six ships show up. Well, five, I guess, because even four ships show up. And you're like, well, we're a fat freighter with two macro cannon batteries. We can't they do shit. Four shi they're four ships, two macro cannon batteries each. We are going to lose. Hmm. Nope. Right now we then just have... Then one dinky little cruiser shows up. We're not really a dinky little so, cruiser. So anyways, <laughs> if those two ships have surrendered and they're not warping out, okay. which... Yep, they're, yeah. they're full of heretics. Alright, so, so do you want to well, go... Well, actually, no. In order to prevent them from warping out, you know what we do? We literally just take their navigators. That's all we need to do. We just take their navigators off the ship so that they can't warp out unless they want a death sentence. Okay, so here's a question. And then question. when we're ready to go, we'll give them back their navigators and then slave them to the well, to no, our we'll ship. We'll give them back yeah. some of my navigators. Yeah, we'll put some of we'll put some of Remy's navigators in. Yeah. Remy's Anyhow, navigators. That's, that's, any, that's anyways. That's details. Let's session. go in. Hell yeah, Remy's navigators. Yeah, let's put them on board. I'm gonna go ahead and contact uh, Mazoa. And I'm gonna make sure that they send over like typeface who think that they're navigators. <laughs> oh my for god! For summary execution, of course. Uh, you know, for something oh, like that. I, d I don't think that I can find enough Gretchen's who to put in costumes to replace the navigators with. We since we can leave the station for last. Who wants to scrutiny the 
three planets of interest, the two temperates and the... Oh yeah, we could do that before we... I do, I do. And no, you don't. <laughs> ah, well, I, I need to... There's, there's 15 on both of those. I actually threw dice yeah. everywhere. Um, well, that's, the second two should be okay anyhow. I'll oh, just shit. let them. No, oh, d d stop buttons. throwing dice! <laughs> <laughs> I have I no hitting, idea which time. I was okay, so it's the it's the it's the thirty nine and the forty three, and both of those are also against fifty eight. Yeah, the seventy one is a fail. So one planet. So no, the it's first not, I'm, gonna, I'm fading the seventy one. Damn it! Dang it! Okay, okay if you're fading the seventy one. Then. then that is then that is success. That is that thirty nine. Thirty nine is fine. No, this this will be the faded yeah, one. Yeah, right. that one right there. See that. So thirty nine against. 58. So that's 2 degrees? Or 1 degree? Uh, 58, 48. I think it's just 1 degree by... It misses 2 degrees yeah. by 1. So yeah, I, I keep forgetting... Eight degree, what, 1 degree success. Uh, is that a normal success? Yeah. No, 1 degree success, 1 degree success, uh, 4 degree success. Yep. On the... Planets. So the ice world has the highest degrees of success. Okay. Well, yeah, there's less vegetation to get in the way. So if, if it is a Necron tomb world, could we, like, sneak on and see if we can loot it before the Necrons wake up? You're not the tech priest. Stop acting like one. <laughs> Apparently we can. Uh, wait, what is our second... What does our current commander say? Are we going onto the Necron tomb world ice planet? Wait. This is a Necron tomb world. I mean, it could be. <laughs> we don't Grace know. <laughs> but if it is, hypothetically, while well, well, Greg rolls it up, if it's an Ekron tomb world, are we going there to have a right proper scrap with the, with the, with the, with the metal boys? Absolutely not. Ekron's <laughs> unbelievably dangerous. Are you sure are you're a tech priest? Them? But it's... Are, are, you sh are you sure you're a tech I priest? Hang on, I rock on law Imperium. Yep. <laughs> What you say, Gregory? I'm sorry. I, I grabbed one of the survival skulls and started eating it. You don't fuck with the Necrons. Is that stress eating? I think that's stress eating. Uh, minus 10 because I have... Because... How dealing with the Imperium works, because I'm a Xeno. <laughs> I have no uh, idea how tech base work. <laughs> no one knows how that's also <laughs> That's not all... That's also not... Covered by common law Imperium, the skill that is covered by, uh, that covers uh, tech priests is a common law Imperium must have something about them. It's well, common no, law they're not part of the Imperium. Yeah, the, the uh, technically That's speaking, the that area is heresy. Mechanicus. Well, I, I the Dunes Mechanicus are technically a separate Why? state from the Imperium at large. They, they, they actually are. They, they are. They are. They are humans. Therefore, they are citizens under the Emperor. Or under the God under Emperor. Under the God Emperor, yes, but they recognize him as the Om Messiah as opposed to the Emperor. The and it's also, different. their government is completely separate. Mm -hmm. Why is the Orc the one shouting about heresy? <laughs> because he has a healthy <laughs> respect for the God Emperor. <laughs> Didn't you realize that his gimmick or his entire point is that he he's an Orc that worships the Emperor? Oh, boy, does of. he worship the Emperor as Gork or as Mork? No, 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 he doesn't worship him, he just thinks he was kind of cool. Kind of yeah. cool. He's still very thoroughly under the banner of Gork or Mork, depending on the day. Yes. For depending those who've been on paying which attention. of his handlers has decided to beat him less. Yes. As a father of the Imperial Creed, I feel kind of conflicted about this, but again, he's some... Again, I am not... I don't have the authority on this ship to, to interact anything about it. As, as those who've been paying attention might have noticed, I do actually change my name periodically. Yes. <laughs> so, just the system. Um, the ice world has got a toxic a atmosphere. Um, nothing much of interest. Um, plentiful industrial metals, sustainable ornaments, limited radioactives. That's the not particularly worth keeping. Yeah, it's not really... With well, a toxic not atmosphere... I mean, we wouldn't yeah. really we wouldn't really know if there's anything shiny shiny on there. But it doesn't look like it's worth visiting at the moment. Yeah. Um 
the pirate den, uh, sorry, not pirate den, the temperate world with a tainted atmosphere has something a little more interesting. Um, it's fertile, it's got lots of local flora and fauna on board, um, major industrial metals, major ornaments, significant curatives, minimal um, vivid accessories, and significant archaeotech caches. We're marking the system and coming the fuck back. That is a what? cool Why ass. Why are we coming the fuck back? We, we, we're, we're, we're already right here. here. And that on top, we, like on top of all of that, that's this is a breathable, livable planet, right? Yes. Tainted. This huh. is the... well, Tainted so, atmosphere. So, Tainted so wait, what's livable? That's fine. I'm sure we can fix that. Small, with that. Pl small planet, low gravity, thin atmosphere, which is tainted, temperate, versant, uh, no major continents, archipelagos, and no small islands. So, so it's got. World. It's a water world. Um, although it's still apparently got plains, swamps, mountain ranges, but we'll ignore that. Well, it's it's a water it's a water world. It, well, okay, it doesn't have any small islands, nor does it have any major continents. So it's a so there's a ton of smaller islands that are all various there's relatively a small biodomes. So there's a shit ton of abs Australia's around, basically. Oh my god, guys! We just found a planet that's literally the Caribbean, except it's the whole planet. I was gonna say Indonesia. Or yeah, Indonesia. Well, or the Philippines. Or all get all noted for planet. the pirates at different stages. But yes, you've got a significant architect cache of 80. Jesus. Well, Wait, we're going seriously? there. Well, we're going in there. It, it was a significant <laughs> architect us. cache and it's only got 8 thingos in it? 80. It's, um, 80? Okay. 80, 80 is. Hella worth considering. Yes. <laughs> that, that's why I'm saying that we should come back because we don't have the gear to take all that. Right oh my God. I want to go down there and try and see if we I can grab. We just got a ship. Me. We, ju well, we just I want to see ships. if I can grab me something out of there. Oh, I want to peep it. I want to peep the the architect. <laughs> we have we have two we have two two new ships and wait can, two thirds can, can of a flight deck. Can we hail the the one of the pirates of why they were uh, for like would they oh, know about this planet at all? Because they've been in the system for longer, or at least had not looked at it. Um, they weren't really that interested. Okay. Um, yeah, that pirates kind of like they didn't really think Space. of looking for stuff. They like don't that. have the uh, they don't have Space the pirates, like, scale. Not pirates. They don't have the ability to like on a large scale like start to harvest stuff from here. Right. They're like they're planets. They yeah. they do planet. Whatever. So it looks like at some point this world was inhabited, um, but there's just like literally loads of like, like crash so sites and this, burned out villages. This, this is the tomb world. Gotcha. So do you know how architect works in this? No so, idea. Was that? Basically, um. um uh, I try to get my tongue in order. Anytime explorers encounter a specific manifestation of greater architect cache, um, generate 1d5 random items. Yes. Each individual item discovered depletes the overall abundance of the cache by 2. By a voice component by 10. So you could find up to 8 void ship architect void ship components on this planet. Nice. Okay, so we really, really want to, like, Dig through this place. Yep. Well, like, that is just... so good. That is a gigantic cache of like good shit that we could get. God damn. So yeah, let's let's go and like hit this place up. So what's oh, the what's so what's the other uh, yeah what's the, the other planet. temperate world? The last also, temperate world. The world. Also, I thought there were two temperate worlds. There's two temperate worlds. The last one has uh, plentiful industrial me metals, limited ornaments, sustainable radioactives, and plentiful orc ruins. Plentiful orc oh, ruins? Yes, the last one is the only problem. How do you have orc ruins orcs. but not have orcs? It's got a toxic, that, thin toxic environment. That does not stop orcs. Uh, apparently well, it's very toxic to orcs. Something clearly just stopped... Kill the orcs spore system. Mm -hmm. Rip, I found my common law orcs. 
no knowledge of this. You want to bait it? You can bait it, you know. Well, this... I have one fight point. I guess I could use my fight point on it. Or are we going to go down and have a little poke around the Archaeotech? I kind of want to go down and poke around the Archaeotech. I know that we can't I... get much from it even if we just go down there, but we can at least explore a little bit. And also, if we end up fighting, like, I don't know, an ancient servitor who just wakes up to fuck us, then I can finally kill something. It turns so out as a, I want. It turns out as an ancient servitor titan. Yeah, we, we attach tow cables to the sleepy ship and we just drag it and bring the other ship along with it. Yeah. We go, we're gonna deal with you guys later because there's cool shit on this planet, if, unless Grey has to go. <laughs> cool shit on now, this I planet. I was just gonna say, um, it's kind of getting to that point where. Yeah, we can best if I. We call, call this as a short episode. Yeah. Still two hours. No, and then give me time to plan for that. Yeah, we did a lot of shit today anyway. It's not yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be a giant, it's not it's gonna be a giant ghost ship planet where, you know. Yeah, um, I want to come up with something a bit more special for this. So yeah, yeah if we have a sounds... gigantic archaeotech cache, that's definitely something worth uh, like having that's... cool ideas about. Yep. Yeah, that is definitely. Luckily, it's got some nice little um, like fauna and flora already generated, and it's already. And the thing is, it's also uh, within our theme of the Caribbean, right? Yep. All right, so I think we'll call that for this week. So, all right. Hopefully, see you all next week. Yeah. Right. Bye, Later, everybody. Bye, Later. Bye.